Hey all, and welcome to what will probably be the last episode of uh, Moon and the Old Axis and Allies 1998 edition. We're going to um, basically end this playlist that I'm like doing this with this game with something just a little bit different than before. We're going to play the US, but we're going to change a few things around. So, I started like showing this off, you know, sort of in the last episode where I didn't really touch anything. But you actually have the ability to pick up who are the Axis countries at the beginning of the game. So, let's just say that for... Um, gameplay wise, we're going to make the um, Germans and the US allies instead of uh, the Germans and the Japanese like it usually is. So, history got changed a little bit, and uh, for some reason, the Americans decided to pursue an um, expansionist, uh, expansionist type of um, you know, policy and they want to take over Canada and like, the rest of America. And they're really just out to uh, dominate the world. That really uh, sort of like sounds sort of similar to something, doesn't it? Anyhow, I'm going to turn off the IPC victory, and we'll turn on World Domination for this. I'm going to... I'll well, leave Scorched Earth on. Maybe I'll see the Germans actually scorch the Russians' um, industries at the start there. And um, Let's see here. I could probably also... Let's put on Kamikaze so I can show that off. Kamikaze is basically... Uh, allows the fighters to move up to the maximum distance without having to consider return, return trips, so... Um, if you want to, you can make them like attack four, four, um, four, you know, tiles away from wherever they're stationed. And you can attack with them that way. Uh, we'll, you know, keep more or less this all the same over here. And um, well, let's point to a hit battleship too. Just show that off too. And um, we'll leave this stuff on with the axe advantage USSR restricted. That'll still give the Japanese their super subs, but I don't consider that a really big advantage to them. They don't really build them anyways. Unit at wise, we're going to go to Kremlin yet again, and we're going to start, you know, doing a couple of things over here. So, USA scenarios. Let's say um, West African, what, um, early West African landings. So, I guess maybe um, the US is uh, landing in Africa very quickly to start taking it out. Um, they mobilized early, so they had more troops. And Pacific, the US takes the initiative in the Pacific. We're also going to uh, let's give um, the Germans the Italian Navy, so the Mediterranean of the UK forces have been destroyed, and we'll give them Syria too. We'll go over here and I'll um, I'll give the USA, you know, basically South America. This is basically kind of what I do with like the Japan, with giving them a whole lot of strength and the Germans a whole lot of strength. I'll give them Venezuela, I'll give them um, Peru, and I'll give them, what was the other? Um, Argentina. So we'll give the USA all those places, and we'll give them Rio de Janeiro too as well. Why not? They captured the neutral territory over there. Japan can, or not Japan. We'll take uh, Germany. They can take um, Switzerland. We'll give them Turkey again, Sweden. Well, I'll give them Spain. Why not? And Saudi Arabia. And I'll give them. Actually, we won't give them Mozambique this time. Um, We'll say that the rest of the stuff, let's say, uh, the USSR takes Mongolia, the, um, they'll take Afghanistan, the UK will take Ireland, and Angolia, and Mozambique. We'll give them all that stuff. So we'll give them all that, you know, to go with. Um, South Pacific, let's give them this. So they retain control of the South Pacific, so they didn't lose it. And they fortify South Africa is a little bit stronger because, you know, they're under siege. And let's say they fortified Australia too. Um, let's say... Let's say that um, for Japan... Let's say they have China to start off with. Just, you know, to give them that. Just like, you know, I don't want to make it so like it's like too much of a one side issue like it was last time when I played the Japanese and they just destroy everyone. We'll give them all that and we'll say let's go with it and see where we go with it. So I'll begin. The USR will still take its turn first. They still have the um, Germans to the uh, left of them to worry about. They don't have to worry about the Japanese anymore. So it's pretty much the, um, ger you know, the Germans are attacking the guys in the USSR and the Japanese will be reinforcing them, or they'll be attacking me. Now, the way I see this game, I'm still going to be playing like you know the Pacific um, 
Pacific or European theater. And it's still like, I still have to watch out for the UK, right? They can still like try and D-Day people or, you know, D-Day Germany. So if I lock them into, uh, you know, the North Sea, then it's not really a big issue. He's going to hit the UK fleet. He's going to hit the Anglo-Egypt sand there. There's no, you know, stuff down here in UK-wise over here. They've been destroyed. So they take Persia. They take Gibraltar because, you know, it's straight there. Obviously, these like sets are like sort of like made so that if like you have the regular settings, but it'll still work, I think, more or less with um, German and the U U.S. You know, me attacking the other three, the Allied um, United Kingdoms, Russia, and Japan, because you know, pretty old Japan, Japan's the good guys in this case. He places free infantry into Germany, seven on Southern Europe. And he collects 49 FPC, so he's going to do fairly good to start. And he's going to actually attack me down there in the Atlantic. And he's going to hit Germany right there. Hit Germany right there. And there goes my guy in the Pacific. I still have this guy in there, though. I actually placed an industry in Australia, or maybe he, that's because it's fortify. It takes fortify so he can build stuff there. So, you know, they, they still have a chance to win. Alright, what are you going to do, Japan? You're going to be like my main nemesis in this, I think. Going to go after Germany there. And he's actually going to go after the Philippines down here. I own the Philippines apparently in this one, and Wake Island for that matter. Hit me with lots of stuff I can see. Takes that. He's going to attack me in the Philippines. Come on, roll the hits. And I really don't really care if they win or not. I just don't like this like back and forth type of thing. Where it's like low, low attackers attacking each other. I retain the Philippines. And we lost his transport. And he retained his fighter. And I'm going to lose all this stuff here in the Pacific. I have all three subs this time, though. Interesting. There's the fighter doing a hit. And I lost all the stuff at once. Subs missed. Carrier missed. And I got a hit on a sub. Alrighty then. So this should be an interesting game. Alright, so what is my plan here? Um, I think we'll do a dice roll for an IPC right to start. Nice! Nice! I love these lucky rolls that I got super subs. Uh, 
Well, I guess I can use super subs. Um, I guess what I want to do is... Uh, oh, it looks like, that, like you can build stuff down here, too. It's got actually an AA gun there. And AA guns in Australia, too. Interesting. So I guess that means they're you know, fortified to have those things there. Um, whatever. Uh, I wish I could see the map better to see what where, where I should place stuff. But... I suppose what I'll do is I'm going to build just some stuff to cordon off the UK, I guess. So we'll go with um, a battleship. Uh, I wish I could build more than that. Let's build a, a carrier and a fighter. And the plan I'm going to go with is like to sort of try and blow up the stuff in like the North Sea and all that, if possible. And look at this, you know, cheesy little Japanese fighter guarding there. Um, I don't want to sacrifice this super sub that I now have over here. We want to obviously take off Canada right off the start because it's, you know, easy fodder for me. So, um, one, two, three, four, and you there. One, two, three, four, and you there. So those are like, you know, those easy moving guys. And... This is kind of a risking a little bit, but I want to try and take out the Japanese right here. Take out those two battleships, because, you know, that's a major loss for, I think, the Japanese or to lose those two battleships. Uh, got troops over here, which is nice. I can um, do what I want with them, I guess. Let's um, drop one in here. There's Angolia taken right away, by the way. And we'll drop him there. And let's move um, one guy here into the transport. Like that for now. Super sub, I guess. Uh, I actually don't want to risk this. Do I one, two, three? Um, yeah, I'll risk that. I'll put, I'll basically put these guys here, like sort of like to put the carrier there. Start building up the Atlantic fleet to decimate the um, other guys. Move you there. Got this guy down here who I could use to attack right away. Um, I think we're going to use him to attack right away. Let's just drop. Both these guys in Ar Argentina down to um, well, I hit Solomon Islands right away, maybe. Or is that risking too much? I, I think we could pull that off. Drop those guys there. We'll take Solomon Islands from the UK because we're fighting the UK, evil UK. Not really evil, but German probably um, Nazi type of propaganda probably says they're evil. Let's um, not leave you there. We're just going to drop you in there. And we'll say that's enough for the start. So, so more or less, well, I can move these guys down, I guess. Those guys there and we'll see that's what I'm doing. Done. So I take that one. I take that one. And the Solomon Islands. We're going to blow up the Japanese battleships. There goes a battleship eas easily enough. Notice how it's got a hit on there. Um, it's like two bow, bow, um, two point battleships. Basically means they have to take two hits to get killed. That's how it works. Uh, let's lose the super sub. And they're defeated. Let's hit up uh, West Canada. Get the lovely oil sands and all that. Flip the Japanese fighter and the infantry. And we'll hit the western, or not western, eastern Canada. That's taken. And where else am I hitting? 
ping somewhere else because there's you know the dumb button isn't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I left that guy there. Uh, for some reason, this guy was in Corellia. He sp he starred there for some reason. Um, he's dead, by the way. But at least he'll kill something. That's too bad that I forgot about him. I saw him too, but oh well. Done. Combat. These guys will get... I could move them down to, you know, down there to guard the salt mines, but let's just drop them here in Pacific. I'll have to start building up stuff over here and, like, you know, to worry about those guys. Uh, these guys down here, I'm going to move them a little bit. We'll drop them in Brazil. I'm more or less. I don't really care about like leaving them on one little, um, one IPC type thing in Argentina. That's like far away from stuff too. So just you know, send them elsewhere is what I plan to do with those guys because they don't not really need to be left where they are. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna say we're done. I'll place the carrier over here, and. We'll place the fighter here in case that carrier survives. Plus 48 IPCs, German forces advance. I'm still a little bit ahead of the Germans, but, you know, not by much. I don't feel like it's going to be a complete runaway this time, at least, with the game. It's going to hit the Eastern Europe. Hopefully, Germany actually attacks really quick on the um, Russians. Defeats the submarine, and he takes Eastern Europe. Really, the um, the uh, Germans don't have the advantage of like being defensive like they were last time when I was like playing the Japanese. They have to attack, or they'll, they'll get overwhelmed by the onslaught of Japanese and Russian troops. He's not fighting like one guy to his east. He's got two guys, like one rapidly approaching and one guy's already there. Gonna attack the North Sea again. Gonna hit Angolia and Kenya Rhodesia. Oh, UK won, but it took Eastern Europe back. I suppose that's sort of a win in Angolia. He's moving guys down there to, uh, you know, he's basically got nothing really to worry about in the African campaign. There's stuff in South Africa, but whatever. That's the only thing UK really has going for them down there. Oh, he's saying guys from South Africa and the tank. He's going to hit my uh, transport that battleship I was worried about, but oh well. And lost some IPCs. Ooh, I got hit in a battleship. It's worth knowing, by the way, those hits don't get repaired. If you take a hit to a battleship, that's a you know a hit. That's um a damaged battleship. The thing about the two-hit battleship is that they're there to absorb hits, I guess, is how you can play with them. I usually just use battleships to, you know, lend a damaging hand, but they can be used in this case as like a double hit type of thing. I think he's going to take me in Philippines this time.
Well, at least they're not going to die in the first round. But they'll die in the second round for sure, I think. Oh well, lost the Philippines. I figure I might. But no real worries about it. You couldn't land as fire as lost at sea. Wonder why that happened. And it looks like Japanese has already moved one guy up to Corellia, sadly. Building lots of transports, so I gotta watch them because he could start going after Alaska. Okay, we're gonna skip this and let's get two battleships, I guess, to go here. And what's the move gonna be? I got these transports over here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna attack this turn. I might actually just move these three down there um, into Belgian Congo to defend while I try and get guys over. And I'm tempted to attack up there, but we'll actually wait, I think. We're going to uh, maybe hit the guy down here and maybe hit that guy over there too. Let's go like this, though. I own the Solomon Island, so I take advantage of that. I don't want to risk losing that infantry by putting them into transports. We'll leave them here. He'll absorb a hit or die or whatever else. We'll see. I kind of hit interest about hanging up there, but I'm I'm you know I think I might lose more than I'm, I'm bargaining for if I do that. Don't think it's worth it. So we'll say that's uh, good for the start. Just hitting these you know this. English battleship over here for now and all right we got the extra hit lose the transport I realize I could you know put the extra hit in the battleship but I want to save those hits for later if possible we'll dump you right there on the Solomon Islands I can use this I guess to sort of bomb Australia if I want to Huh. Don't like the idea that I left him out there by himself. But at least I killed the English battleship, I guess, so there's that. Um Non combat move. Uh I could move, I guess, these guys closer. Could do that. First let's get these guys going. We're gonna drop these guys here. And we're just gonna fill up the transports. Unload the troops. Now I got eight troops to start, you know, start firing down here or whatever else. And I'm gonna move these guys this way. Those guys there. Move these guys to to um, Western USA. I'll just leave him there as like an extra defense. I'll place the two battleships right there. So I took a, a you know hit that round because they took it to the Philippines from me and didn't really hit anything back. But really, the one who has to advance the most is Germany here. Germany has more IPCs to make sort of make up the disadvantage they have, but he's still getting crushed for some odd reason. Well, it's also the fact that, you know, Japanese are sending troops slowly, but for some reason the Russian troops are all it takes for the German to collapse for some reason. This might be the one game where I lose, sadly. I may have not balanced it, um, you know, well enough for me to have the advantage.
Let's see if Jeremy retaliates and does a decent retaliation. He's building infantry, I guess. Take Italian East Africa. Kill that transport. He's slowly building guys. I think he's mostly for the United Kingdom, but it might be for the other places too. He's gonna bomb there, he's gonna hit there. Hit the No, usually they eat what you do is you'd send that fire to like to kill it for like the the cost gain, I guess, but in this case he's doing it to damage the battleship more so than anything else. That probably has like a you know it probably didn't have a hit on it, but you're just gonna damage the battleship, not kill it that way. Yeah, he's placing him down here now. I can place free for some reason. Damn. He's going to send his guys to hit that battleship, and he's going to go after me here in Alaska. Boink. Didn't send enough. They sent enough here for sure, I think. Well, I missed the first round. I got hit on the um, first round. There goes one troop. There goes two mine. Didn't get hit that time. And I lost the other one. At least I killed two of his troops. That's actually more than I can ask for usually. I'll take that. And hit him back the next turn. Really this time around I'm going to be playing a more defensive game of Japan because they're not like, you know, trying to focus on ourselves on the Soviet Union. They're also focusing more so on me than anyone else. Like focusing ourselves on defending USSR, but they're also focused on attacking me. Okay, we're going to skip this and I'll build five of those guys. I'm going to build a transport, a fighter, a sub, and our infantry. I guess just, you know, start getting these guys out of the way. Um, I can go for this, I think. One, two. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. So there's, you know, a bit of damage to throw over there. Um, I suppose it might be worth it to try and barrel down towards South Africa with those guys. Maybe I'll get enough damage. We'll see. These guys, what am I going to do with them? Um, one, two, three. I could hit this transport, but I mean, it's, you know, it's got the crap over there, so it's probably not worth it to try and bombard that, so. Let's do this. I'm going to bomb, do strategic bombarding it there. It's too far, far away to hit him, but these guys can kill those troops there. I'm not going to do anything else in the Pacific Theater, and I don't think I'm going to do anything else in the Atlantic Theater. So, let's get it going. Done. 
Damn, I want to get two hits on the first round. But I'll take the no hits for them. Uh, I hate one dice rolls. There we go, we got the second hit. If I take South Africa, I can start producing troops out of South Africa and take out the rest of Africa from it. So there's that. Goes a carrier. I actually hit the fighter with the carrier. And the fighter. And the battleships. Uh, let's get rid of the sub. I control the North Sea. If I control the North Sea, then, uh, you know, those um, Brits won't be able to get out. Ah, uh, sucked. Whatever, I'll take it. One IPC hit damage on them. There's one hit from the infantry. No hits from the tanks. Not liking this attack here. Japanese are tearing through them. Lost free infantry killing those guys. That's a, uh, you know, b bad is bad. All right, done. Um, don't want to get those bombers, you know, bombing me. So. Send them to Central Atlantic, I guess. One, two, three. That's, you know, not in range of them. I'm actually going to move these guys up to Wake Island, I think. Just so that if he goes after here again, I can just, you know, attack him and land him on Alaska. You can stay on the Solomon Island for now. And you, I don't want you being attacked by a fighter again and getting damaged. So we're going to send you back to Northeast Pacific for now. I think that's all the moves I'll be able to do. Because you don't need to move. Drop him there. Uh, let's drop... I'm tempted to drop guys on Eastern USA, but... I mean, decided to go after air here for, you know, the one IPC to take it for the reason of taking it. And... Or to dump guys over here. But I'm more worried about the Japanese at the moment, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we'll send these guys over there as cannon fodder for now. We're still well above, I guess, IPC wise, the Russians, the Japanese, and the UK. The um, Axis Alliance. But the thing here is that Germany's getting hampered, I guess. They aren't getting enough IPCs to sort of attack like they should. Oh, I took them both. You know, stuff I might do is just drop stuff on Soviet Far East. Not sure it'd do a whole lot of damage, but I'm be able to take away some IPCs from the Russians. Hit that transport. He's going to hit Eastern Europe. At least he took that back. Really spinning around the subs and other ships he's got down to Mediterranean fleet, but whatever. If 
three infantry and two transports. Oh, I forgot I might do that. Um, I'm going to place the head in the transport here. And I'm just going to submerge the submarine. Nope, he dumped them down here. Gotta watch those transports. But I didn't drop any um, troops on South Africa, so I might be able to barrel in and take it with the eight troops I've got there. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, he's in the battleship and the subs. Oh, he defeated the bomber. But Jeremy, did, um, Jeremy lost its subs, but no, you know, we're really about the subs. You're building lots of transports over here. All right, we're going to let's buy one more. Nice, I get lucky again. Long range aircraft, awesome. That's going to be really nice. Um, I do want to keep building stuff over here, but uh, you know, the problem is that I've got that guy over there. So you know what, we're going to actually build... I'm going to build stuff over here now, I guess. We're going to build a, a sub, a carrier, and a fighter, and infantry. Just turn around. And I'm tempted to hit here, but it's probably not worth it. You guys can go further now, though. So you can go up to, like, you know, lots of movement for this guy. But it, this also things that these guys can kamikaze, so I don't want us kamikaze them. Was it? Jeez, the fires can go everywhere. Is it six? I think six is the maximum these guys can go. So anywhere in a range of three, I can attack with these guys. But there's really nothing to attack in the mode, so. All right. Well, anyways, let's see if I can take out South Africa. If I take this, I can just take out the rest of the English and stuff from South Africa. And I can't move those yet. It's not, you know, in the combat move. Um, well, I can move you. You go up there. You guys can move here. I actually, be able to drop these guys here in the USA Atlantic. So I start ferrying guys around. Um, you can go hit. This, this thing can move even farther. Seven, eight. It can go up to eight squares away. So I can hit this transport, try and kill the transport. Though it's probably not really worth it, considering the fact that Japanese have so many transports. Let's um, bombard Japan, I guess. That's four movements, so I'll take that. Just make sure I'm you know, not going overspending its movements. And I'm actually tempted to take out this infantry of aircraft, but I don't think it's worth it, you know, risking an aircraft for that. We'll just be happy taking this out over here and we'll say that's enough for attacking this turn, I think. So you can bomb it on Japan. You didn't shoot it down, I destroyed some IPCs. And South Africa. Good. Two hits. Bad. Two hits. Okay, good. We took out South Africa. I can start building stuff on South Africa and, you know, keep South Africa, or Africa, rather, in my grasp. So that's done. Non combat move. I want to. Let's see here. I don't want to leave these tanks, you know, sitting in Alaska like this. 
or the infantry for that matter, we'll move them there. You guys go up here, and basically these guys are like the um, the troops I'll send to counterattack if they hit Alaska again. I want to move you back, of course. Yeah, I'm sort of scared of him hitting Wake Island, I guess, but not that scared. We'll leave him there. And I think that's going to be it for this move. So there's um, pretty much my uh, turn. I'll go over here. I'll place the carrier, infantry, fighter, and sub. America War Machine moves on. Jeremy's taking some hits, but hopefully, if I can take out the United Kingdom, then that's one threat that the uh, you know the Germans don't have to worry about. And it's one capital for us out of the way. Plus, if I take out the United Kingdom, it'll make Australia that much easier to take. Oh, he took that one again. Place some guys in Russia for some reason. Don't know why. Japan's not really moving its guys up here for some reason. He's just building transports. Not that I really care, but... A bit off. Germany's going to hit Eastern Europe again. He takes Eastern Europe again. He's building a fire and two transports, probably for Australia now. Seeing as how I took South Africa. I've got to worry about him, you know, taking the stuff out here, but whatever. Yeah, he's moving those down toward Australia. And he placed, you know, two transports there on the Southern Ocean. Australia's got a lot of build power. It can build like in free oceans around it, so pretty decent place to build stuff. And they're starting to build their infantry. Nope, oh, he's gonna hit Madagascar. Oh, he repelled it. One moment being called. Uh, I can't leave that off, so. You can just watch this while I get the phone. Yes? Okay. Yep, bye. Yep, bye. Alright, I'm back. Only bad thing is I can't really pause this game. Um... Uh, why not? We'll keep doing IPC development. There we got fail. One. No good. Skip. Alright, I need to start building troops to, you know, ferry around and do stuff with. I got two transports here, and I got one up there, I think. Uh, need to build stuff over here, too. So, build that, and a carrier, and a fighter, I guess. Uh, I'll build these guys, I guess. Those four. Comet move. Um... Okay, I'm tempted now to hit Ire with like this one low guy, because I can. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. And drop the tank in there. It's an easy point, right? So... Hit it for the easy point. Send infantry too. I'll send 
Because these guys, you know, are now conquering all this place. We'll just start going up. I don't want to sit risk that, so you guys just stay there. Uh do it like that. Just even it out for now. Okay, I also want to send these two there just to hit higher. And I'll make sure I hit that right. Okay, good. I don't want to send them on you know England if that would happen, so that'd be bad. Hit there. Hit there. And there's the the Atlantic fleet pretty much maxed out. I'm not going to probably build any more guys for over there. Over here, is there anything I want to do? I'm actually tempted to hit this fighter. Because it's like out in the open. You know, kill the fighter, get an easy kill. But I'm risking a bomber for it. I don't think that's worth it, so we won't do that. Let's send you up to hit Japan again. Do a little bit of bombardment. I should probably start building a fleet down here in South Africa, since I have that now. And you can do that. Um, but that's pretty much it for, I think, this, you know, event. I won't be able to do any more non-combat, I think, turns. So done. Yeah, yes. Yes. Take that. Nice, I killed him before he even had a chance to do anything. Wow, only the battleship hit. And there's Iyer taken. So she's bombing. Wow, I'm getting terrible rolls. Okay, uh, done. You go back here. I'm actually kind of concerned about him hitting... You know, hitting me with, like, these troops. That's more than enough to probably take Wake Island. I should probably do, move these guys out, too. Back them off. Drop him there. And non-combat move. Pretty much move everyone is going to move, like, except for these three. There's those guys moved, and I think that's all I can move at this point, so done. Damn it. I don't know why, but I think the bomber wasn't landed on top of the Central Pacific. That's one of the bad things about kamikazes. Uh, it doesn't really give you a warning that they're going to run out of fuel if they do, so they'll run out of fuel and, they'll run, and you can't really do anything about it because this is bad placement or more anything else. Okay, we'll send this guy and this guy's over here for now. That's an unfortunate loss, that bomber. That's one thing to show about the, you know, the kamikazes in this game. It's Something you probably want to turn off. And uh, USSR takes Eastern Europe once again, I bet. Oh, it didn't. Actually lost its fighters. Final hand Kakakis. Nope, lost that. He lost this fire too. Well, it looks like Germany's really getting sunk. Badly. He keeps putting guys in Western Europe, but he really doesn't need to. At least he's got Eastern Europe nice and, you know, fortified this time.
Maybe I'll uh, fill in Norway with my troops. Kill that fighter and the three Russian troops there. Oh, he's going to go after me, I bet. Oh, we want to frank Madagascar again. Oh, we shot down an English bomber somewhere. That's one more bomber we don't have to worry about. And he took Frank to Madagascar. Now I've got to worry about his troops, you know, being lose, used to ferry over South Africa, so I guess I should build a fleet down here. This is the thing, I guess, for this, you know, this sort of battle fleet thing. I'm building fleets with, as the Americans more than anything else, and I'm hoping the Germans will hold out. And they're putting guys in Manchuria, I see. And Japan. Gotta love the AI. They're very, very smart, don't you know? Uh, I I haven't seen AI that does anything of this, you know, type of nature good. I haven't seen a whole lot of board game AIs, though, so it's not really that big an issue. One dice roll. Nope. No lucky this time. Skip. Um, let's build... I'm not sure I can build too much down here, so let's just... Uh, see how many fighters I can build down here for now. And over here, on the Northeast Pacific side, I will build... a sub. Since I have super subs. Alright, so... I can bomb our with the battleship, I guess, so let's take advantage of that. And just, you know, unload these guys onto right here. And take Finland and Norway back for the Germans, I guess. Um, you can go down here and drop those guys there, I guess. I suppose I want to try and take um, Kenya Rhodesia, but these troops over here are actually kind of frightening, to say the least. We're going to leave these free troops as they are for now, I guess. We're not going to attack them this turn. And well, yeah, we'll say take Finland, Norway, and I guess that's going to be it for this turn. I should be able to transport to get Australia if he's got nothing in there, so I should probably do that. Um, we'll say done. Yes, yes. Hopefully they bombard. Nice, two hits, instantly. Two more hits from the tanks and fires would be good too. Only one. Damn. There goes the infantry. There goes a tank. Well, we killed um, the fighter, and that's like really what I was going over here for. I guess we'll cost one fighter to take it. I, I can afford that, I guess. Um, done. You two go back here. You guys just wait. Move one guy down there. And... More or less, these guys can just wait down there as they are. Why not? We'll send him up there. I can, so I will. Done. Let's just see how many fighters I can place here. Actually, let's place this sub down here. So one sub. And no, I can only place one fighter, so... There's only two placements down there, so that's, I guess, what I was expecting, more or less. I'll place you and you both here in Eastern USA. And we'll say that's it for my turn. Looks like German gained a little bit of ground, which is fine. Uh, 
I expect that tank would die, but I mean, I killed that fighter, which is really what I was going for. Wow, two one hits. Hopefully the um, Germans can take Ukraine SSR or hit Karelia. They got a few things to hit Karelia with now at least. Oh, here he goes. Hopefully he wins this battle so, you know, we can you know get some advancement from the Germans. And get the Karelia's industry destroyed. That'd be Good to see for once. Since the fighter, hopefully he's going to get shot down by the AAs. And he took Ukraine. He took Karelia! I think he's going to wipe out those industries because I don't think he has any chance of holding it with two tanks. But we'll see. I did leave Scorch Durfan, right? Yep, yeah, it's still on. Well, he didn't destroy them, so whatever. He's still in building transports down there in uh, Australia, I guess. And he's advancing on my territory now. Yeah, he's separating those transports now. I got the damn sub out there. The sub will scare him. Oh, he's going to prevent me from taking Australia right away. But that's fine. I don't have a transport out here yet. Hey, we're going to build more transports because, you know, that's what you like to do, Japan. Oh, he's going to take that because it's open. That's probably going to land troops there in Alaska because he's got, you know, plenty of troops to ferry over here. Or not. I was moving the carrier. I guess to defend it. And yeah, he moved enough troops there that I can't really go after go after him at the moment. Uh let's skip this this time. I'm going to Let's build free troops down here. I'm gonna build transport here for sure. And Ah oh, why not? Let's build a bunch of troops more. Start building ships, build some troops. He actually plays free transports here for some odd reason. But, well, well, I can lose free transports, or he can lose some transports. Wait, where's my transports? Didn't I have transports up here to, like, launch guys into Finland, Norway? Did they just turn English or something? Might be a bug. Uh, I hate bugs. Uh, whatever. Um, right now, got these guys up here, four transports, two fighters, and the carrier. That's, you know, kind of detrimental to going after. But I could go over here and try and kill these guys. And I might be able to pull that off, so. Let's try and kill all his uh, transports that he's worked so hard to build. I'm going to hit you with that, hit you with this, and send all these guys up this way with those guys. I'm going to leave those guys there, and done. 
Bow here first. Carrier misses. And this is like, you know, kind of like not cost effective using this on many, this many transports, but I want to kill as many transports as my possible right here. So there's like 16 damage. There's 12 damage on his part, I guess. He's actually doing 24 damage. He actually did more damage than me there. Well, I can't retreat. I guess it's a, a naval battle, so I can't retreat. My guys are missing badly. I was hoping for more hits. There was another fighter. Kill the carrier this time. This is a bad attack. I mean, I didn't make any hits to make it worthwhile for me. And I probably should have put hits on the battleship. Fire missed again. Battleship missed. There they go, they're dead. For some reason I couldn't retreat. I you can usually retreat from naval battles, so I don't know why I couldn't. Ah oh, well there's I guess there's a lot of bugs to worry about. Defeat him. Wow, this is going badly for me. He could attack South Africa now because it's open. I'm going to build troops there in a moment. There's uh, that one taken. And now I kill these former transports of mine, I think. We killed those guys. There's my free transport. So I guess I did have my free transport. So he's built his transports there. I couldn't move them for whatever reason. Alright, done. Non combat move. Can I move these guys? No, I can't because, you know, I can't. Uh, I don't have any forces out here now, which is kind of dangerous because this guy could land over here. I gotta move these guys here now to be defensive. And. It's really all I can move, I guess. Done. I'm going to place a transport. Oh, why not? We'll place it right here. Place one, two, f one guy there, I guess, because that's all I can place. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Place these guys over here. Yeah, that was a massive loss for me that time. I think I'm making more NPCs than all three of the Allies, or, you know, with the act with the Germans, but it's not good if we lose that many troops. Wow, German, German actually repelled him. If he keeps Corellia, that means, you know, he's got a good uh, point. I should help him take Finland right away. He's going to take the Ukraine SSR. And he's going to move troops on the Corellia, I hope. I'm going to move them one guy onto the carrier. Move one guy on Ukraine SSR. Oh, he didn't move any guys on Corellia. Krell is open, kinda. So I could probably take it back if he's lucky. Building transports on here again, which means I won't be able to move the transports yet again. They're gonna leave, you know, stay there as can fodder, I guess.
Four infantry and one armor. Oh, he's going for Wake Island. Basically, I lost all my, you know, anything that, that deterred him from attacking me over here. They're, they're just coming at me now. Because that massive loss for me. And that's not enough to deter him, I don't think. This hit me everywhere. Well, I got two hits. That's better than I can ask for. I might win this battle. Well, I lost Wake Island, I think. No, I took it. We killed all the guys that attacked Wake Island. But I lost the Solomon Islands, so I could return to Japan. If I was UK to start off with. Again, there's bugs in this game, right? So. Oh, that's a bad. I need to kill, like, these guys to really win. Well, he kills the infantry. Oh, we retreat back to West. to Alaska from Western Canada. I'm making kills. He lost a few troops at least attacking me. But the thing is that he still got those transports all over the place. And you move those guys back to Alaska. I gotta worry about him going down to South America too, which is the thing. Um, I'm going to build stuff in the North Pacific here a little bit, I think. So we're gonna go build a battleship, I'll build a sub, transport. We'll build two subs actually. I'm not gonna worry about transporting stuff and this two infantry. Oh, he sent these stupid... I can't select my guys because these guys are constantly in the way. I wish I could. I can move my guys, like, you know, up there and attack them, but... Oh, well. Kill that transport, please. And India's actually opened, but I can't get up there, can I? So... Well, let's go like this. I'm going to just move you up to... Here. Take there. We'll hit Anglo Egypt Sazam with all those six guys, and I'll try and try and take this stuff over here. Um, I'm tempted to actually send these four infantry over there, but those fighters will hurt quite a bit. So I guess we'll just play defensively over there. Do I have fighters over here or not? All the bugs. Alright, well anyways, done. We got him, at least. Oh, my dice rolls are getting horrible. I had some good dice rolls, and now they're going all bad. I 
At least I took this with no casualties, I hope. Well, there's two IPCs for me. And of course we have to fight these. I do have fighters here, so... I should be attacking with a German fighter too, but it's just not showing up. Alright, he's lost his transport again. So done. I'm going to send... These guys here. Uh, one... He could actually hit North Beach Pacific, so I actually shouldn't send too many guys away from here. I actually do want to send some down, like, to prevent him, like, from his going million million on Mexico, but... On watch for him. All right, we're done. Actually, can't attack because I'm placing these here, but I suppose these fires can be used. Place those guys there. Place these guys here. Place that there. Place that there. Done.